my name is Cameron. I am here to show you something. Something that's fun that I enjoy quite a lot. If you've ever backed a Kickstarter, you will very often get digital rewards. And so today I'm going to uh, show you how to very easily and for almost free to take advantage of the print and play versions of decks of cards that you get. So in particular, I'm going to be using the Story Engine deck which is a uh, deck of cards, square little cards, as you can see. There's different types of them, and uh, they work together in conjunction to help inspire you to be creative. The Story Prompts deck is geared towards um, helping you create uh, characters and items and story scenarios involving them. The new one, I guess uh, I just got it in the mail, like, two or three weeks ago, but I've had the print and play PDFs for, I don't know, much longer than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use the print and play versions of card decks that you have purchased. Tabletop Simulator. Tabletop Simulator is not free, but it very frequently goes on sale. It's available on Steam. I think it's 20 bucks. The first thing you're going to do is grab whatever print and play PDFs you got. Now the issue with these things is that they come as uh, generally eight and a half by 11 sheets. You know, you'll get a PDF that'll have front page, back page, front page, back page, and they are laid out on the page intended to be printed. To use them digitally, you'll have to get those photos, get the images out of that file into a usable format, which in this case is just going to be the single card faces and then the card backs. There is a uh, developer Four dot software, as you can see, and they just do um, open source software. And one of the open source softwares that they have is an image extractor. That is the simplest, easiest thing I've ever used. So, all of their software is also available on a GitHub. They've got uh, all the source code there for all the little tiny utilities that they make. Uh, PDF image extractor. So how does it work? You click, you click and drag a PDF onto it. You tell it what folder you want to save the thing to. You can even tell it how to uh, title the separate images that it takes out of there. And then, and then you, just, you just click a button and it gives you a brand new, <laughs> it just makes a folder and it dumps everything in there and it is Fantastically quick, fantastically simple, 100% free. So once you drop that uh, PDF in there and you've got all the extracted images, the world is your oyster. You can do whatever the heck you want with it. Uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, use a utility that comes with Tabletop Simulator. So if you've got Tabletop Simulator, if you go into your Steam folder in the Tabletop Simulator uh, help files, we can see that uh, they give you the uh, the path where that will be. I'll have that down below so you can copy and uh, paste that into your file explorer if you need to. And it lists, the website lists two ways to make custom decks for Tabletop Simulator. Um, this one right here, the top one with the uh, sheets, I don't know why you would do it. It doesn't seem to make uh, any sense because the second one is an app that you can just point to that folder that for that the uh, four dot software pulled all those images out and placed in and that's pretty much all you have to do so each method they give you does the same uh, end result you're gonna get a uh, card sheet that you can import into tabletop simulator um, but that first option you manually place the the cards in the right areas of the uh, card sheet, whereas if you use the um, the uh, executable included with it, it does most of it for you, and you just drag and drop them around if you need to. Um, as you do that, what you'll want to notice is that there is um, the backs of the cards is going to be that last one, that last spot. So you'll put in, just leave the dimensions. I think it's ten by seven is what it defaults to. You can go ahead and just leave that there. It's fine, um, even if there's empty spaces. You'll throw that um, all of the front faces of the cards that you extracted. 
you're going to throw all of the front faces to the cards that you extracted into, uh, into the deck editor. Then you'll take just one copy of the back and you'll uh, drag and drop it into there as well. And then you will move that into the last, um, the lower right final little spot of the, of the card sheet. Now, I, I don't think you have to do all of these steps because when you import it into Tabletop Simulator, it's going to have you select a card back anyway. So I think it's just an issue of Tabletop Simulator being updated and this utility that was um, uh, apparently made by just like an extra, you know, a, a user of Tabletop Simulator um, to make the decks easier to do. It doesn't seem like it was built by a first party Tabletop Simulator. So I think it's just an issue of the uh, game itself being updated and the editor just, you know, still functioning fine. So why, uh, you know, why mess with it? So as you can see here, you can go through, you'll put whatever cards you want, you can rearrange them if you want, you don't need to because uh, generally it's going to be shuffled when you're playing around with it. So when you export it, you've got some options. Again, generally, you won't have to change a single thing. You can All right, now that you've got it saved, let's go ahead and open up Tabletop Simulator and let's um, load up that card. So. As you can see, uh, you just go to the custom settings over here when you go to add a, uh, an item to your, um, your setup. And you can just pick card, drag it onto the table, and it'll let you uh, set that up. So you'll pick the uh, card sheet that you already made that has the um, faces of the cards in there. Um, as you can see, I've made a couple of them already. I'm going to ask you if you want to upload it to the cloud. Um, which I think it's just your Steam Cloud, it's not the Workshop. Um, obviously, if you purchased uh, PDFs, I would say do not publish, publish them uh, publicly because, you, you know, people spent their time and energy to create these awesome tools and deserve to have, uh, you know, that uh, compensation there. So as you can see, you still have to toss a card back onto, onto there, which I don't quite know why if it's in the sheet um, and the number there so it says width height you can leave that that's the dimensions of the uh, card sheet not the dimensions of the cards themselves and then the number is um, how many spots in that card sheet are actually used by the front faces so even if you keep it at the 10 by 7 and you've got a deck of cards that's less than 70 it's fine you can just um, you know, you don't have to worry about it. You just hit tell it when you upload it uh, when to stop looking at it. But once you upload it once, it's there. It's saved into your your install of Tabletop Simulator. So you can always um, toss it on there easily. And you can save your session. So you can set up your Story Engine Tabletop uh, configuration that works for you. And you can save it. And then you just uh, make new saves if you want to save an actual session. And then you can open up that initial one and get right back to it, uh, clean slate and all that. Sideways, of course, refers to the orientation of the cards in the sheet. Um, these are square, and these are meant to be rotated all over, so that's fine. All right, so now that we've imported the deck... All right, so now that we've got uh, the card sheet made, we've put the card sheet into... Well, when we close the when we close the uh, custom deck import window, uh, we get our deck. It's right there. Look at that. Looks pretty cool. Now, Tabletop Simulator is a pretty advanced program uh, for what it does. You can, you know, you can pretty much play any game on here. It's um, it's quite fascinating and it's really fun to just mess around with. So you can draw cards into your hand, you can place them on the table, you can rotate them, you can um, rearrange the order of them, you can throw cards off the table, you can um, put pieces or counters or tokens on there, you can flip over the table, you can, uh, you know, add more decks, um, you know, whenever you feel like it. Uh, it's very, very cool. And I highly recommend just playing around with it. So now that we've gone this whole way, um... There's really not much left to do except just to have some fun. If, uh, if you're still capable of having fun, 
then this is the time to do it. And I will see you next time.